the title of today's webinar is Signify Lighting Academy, Leveraging Li-Fi to Monetize Co-working Lobbies. It will be presented by Karen Bamford, James Harrison, and Ed Hybers. Sorry, Ed Hybers is a true Li-Fi go-to-market leader office in hospitality, an experienced business development lead with a strong history of commercializing emerging technologies in the electrical and electronic manufacturing industry. James Harrison is a hospitality technology consultant with 15 years of experience working with hotels, systems, integrators, and consultancies. Throughout this time, having advised and designed technology solutions for some of the world's largest hotel chains and leisure park operators. Karen Banford is a true life by business development manager at Hospitality. Having 20 plus years of experience developing value propositions and driving commercial value in the telecoms industry. Welcome this, uh, to this session. So good morning, good afternoon for those on the other side um, of the world. Today we're going to talk about Li-Fi um, and not particularly, or not in general about Li-Fi, but how can Li-Fi help to monetize co-working? Co-working is probably something a lot of you have started hearing about perhaps only in the last three, four, five years, but actually it's been with us a lot longer. Um, Co-working in a, a, a fixed idea has, has been around since the early 2000s with places really starting to gather speed popping up around 2006. However, it goes back even further than that. Um, I'm sure we can all relate to the idea that uh, we've been using hotel lobbies for some time for co-working. Over many years, um, those of us who've traveled, worked with laptops have often sought out a, a hotel lobby to uh, head in for an hour or two to um, be able to get connected, perhaps send a few emails, update a document, something like that. Hotels already have hospitality people. They have people who are able to bring this social dynamic, the idea of community to people who are coming in there. It's not every, um, every industry has the people who've got such an exposure as hospitality does. Um, so it's great that with that infrastructure and with those people, hotels are ready to move forward into a, a world where they offer co-working as part of uh, that experience. Now, interestingly, on this slide, you'll also see I put co-living equals hotel. So I, I talked in the first slide saying that co-working and co-living go hand in hand together. So why is, is Wi-Fi, um, uh, let's say, under stress, or why do we, uh, we see these problems with Wi-Fi? Now, there are many uh, different reasons why this is happening. Um, uh, before going into uh, uh, maybe some factual thing, I think it's also about expectation. I think a couple of years ago, we were very happy that we would be online. Wow, I can go online and it can be wireless. Uh, um, for those who want to search on, on, on internet, on, there's a little YouTube movie where Steve Jobs shows a laptop or his MacBook, the first MacBook with Wi-Fi. It was amazing. And nobody had the expectation that it would work anywhere, everywhere. It's just, wow, on these locations, you can be online. Fantastic. Now, what, have, of course, has happened over the past couple of years that we are getting used to being online. So our demands go up. Um, so I think that's more a feeling where we believe that we want to have accessibility everywhere. We cannot live without. On the technical side or on the usage side, we also see a couple of things. First of all, the amount of data we use is, is, is growing dramatically. And the graph on the left, you can already see, and maybe a couple of people in the call has, have seen this graph already, but it stays, it, it's still, let's say, amazing to see that it starts at 2010 where we hardly use, if you look at this graph, any data online. And we're now we're looking at more than 40,000 petabytes a month. Now, this is an amazing number. Um, uh, just for your reference, you need 50 five zero petabytes to store everything ever written in any language uh, on a hard drive. So you can imagine that the amount of data we share is, is huge. 